The first thing I'm going to do is tie those two pieces of string into loops. Take those loops, make holes in the side of my bottle with a pair of scissors, stick these loops in, tuck them through themselves, and make my camera harness ready to fly. So, like that, so that I grab the thing directly from the middle. So now I'm going to repeat that on this juice bottle rig. So I'll take my scissors, find the sharpest end, look for the seam of the bottle, and twist a little hole right up front. There's one, and I'm looking at the seam and make sure I get the same height on the other side. And make another. Now I need to make two loops that are the same length. Take my piece of string, fold it in half, tie an overhand knot, push that knot down towards the tassels and away from the loop, pull it off into a loop, then match up my next string. Fold it in half, fold it in half, tie an overhand knot, push it down towards the tassels. Before I tighten it, hold on to both with my finger, push the new one down to the same spot as the old one. And that's how I end up with two loops of the exact same size. Then I take my loops, tuck them in from the outside of the bottle, to the inside by pinning the loop, pushing it through, pushing it up through the nozzle of the bottle. And then what I do here is I generally want this knot to rest against the hole so it doesn't get in my way. So I kind of work the loop around and pull it taut through the side, through the side knot right at the tassel so that the loop twists a little bit. Keep the tassel over there. It's one attachment point. Fold my loop and cross, pin it with my fingers, stick it through the bottle, push it in, push it through the nozzle, loop it back through itself. So now that I have my two attachment points, that'll give me a nice sturdy pull in the middle. It's time.